I hate you. The smell of your skin, the cashew color that blankets your body, the memory of my fingernails trying to scratch the surface of your heartbeat. I hate that you let me in. Let me inside the arena where only gods play hide and seek for the wind we glide on. I hate that I ran looking for a breeze that would lift me up to glide by your side, only to stand to windless doubts and a soulmate who abandoned her post. I hate that when I tell myself what a fucking bitch, that I actually believe it. That when I think about you, I hate my mother for making me a gentleman. That when you slapped and you spit in my face, the impulse to break your jaw would take every particle in my soul to suspend time for a moment long enough for me to see that the fight in you and the one in me, they breathe different air. And even though I would never, ever put my hands on a woman, I understand why sometimes, sometimes that shit could feel so fucking justified. And I hate that I understand that. I hate that I still pray for you. That I wish you'd find what you don't even know you're looking for. For a peace that does not live in tranquility, but that violently makes darkness tremble in the presence of raw light. I hate that I believed in you. That I believed with a blindfold on. That I didn't believe in myself. So I felt for the braille in your words to help guide me through a world I helped create. I hate that when I'm around you, I always feel sorry for shit. My shit and your shit. And I hate that you know how to push me to feel sorry for all that shit as a way for you to avoid redeeming yourself. I hate that you can only hate this kind of hate for people you love most. I hate that I only know how to love with all of myself. And it's taken me the same age as the crucifixion of Christ for me to realize that pure love, pure love is uncompromising in being heard and absent of the victimhood of needing to be understood. I hate the letting go of son I gotta do every day. And that needing to speak these words in the face of an inner dialogue that screams at me to stop being a little faggot ass bitch and man the fuck up is the very thing that stops me from breaking your jaw and compromising my legacy as a good man. I hate that I don't really hate you. But even now I can still find a reason to love you. And what's worse, I don't even need one to love you. I hate that that's true. So in the face of all that, when I say I'm through, those words come from a place within me where hate can never live. My only love rules. So, even though I hate to say this, but sometimes I do things I hate so I can gain the strength to face what I need to love most. And for that, I love you.